Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Wednesday, which means it's time for 95X Cares, our community animal rescue effort. It's brought to you by the Law Office of William Matar, Invisible Fence, and the Roofing Guys. I am Dixon, joined as always by Jenny. Jenny, how are you this week? I am fantastic. Uh, how are you? I'm great. Uh, I'm mostly great because we got great news. Uh, yeah. Baron, who we featured for the second time last week, got his forever home. He did. And how perfect is it? Like this dog is going to be going to work. He's, he has like a, a constant buddy. And I think that is, is just like the most amazing thing to hear for a dog, especially one that's so deserving. And, uh, and with a health condition, like his dad is going to have eyes on him at all times. And he's just going to be living out like every dog's dream. So super stoked for that. I love that. And I, I hate coming off braggadocious with that. Right. Cause I felt like we, we got, we got, I got a little full of myself and, and you let me go down the road of like putting together like a batting average of how much we were getting these dogs adopted. So I stopped doing it because I realized like, you know, it seems like we're bragging. We're not. I was just happy we were <laughs> successful. So I, but I did want to bring Baron up because he was a two timer, like homie sat in uh, the shelter for a really long time jump from foster to foster he was a challenging ask on our part with the health uh so i was just so stoked when aaron reached out and mentioned that he found a forever home not just a foster home but a forever right. home so baron congratulations mike who is baron's new dad congratulations to you uh i'm looking forward to seeing some photos of baron going to work and uh, maybe they'll get him a little outfit hopefully i, hand, I think hand. they should yeah uh, so this week you brought us a dog with a terrible name, but uh, a, a gorgeous <laughs> profile. Uh, we're going to introduce you to a dog that is strangely named Mazda. Yeah, I think that's going to have to change. So yeah, uh, unless unless you're a huge Mazda fan, right? Like you drive Mazda vehicles and you love Doberman Pinsers. Yeah, and so it's listen, a perfect like fit. Otherwise, name, yeah, they he's going to need a new name because this dog is absolutely breathtaking he is a stunning stunning purebred dog um if you keep the name like sign him up to be in commercials or something so they can pay you because he is just that gorgeous that i don't know who could say no to something like that uh but otherwise i i am of uh the mind as well that his name should change upon being adopted especially because he's pretty young he's only about a year old yep. um his upbringing is a little bit of a mystery. Uh, he was found tied to a tent around the New York City area, uh, abandoned alone. Again, he's pretty young, so who really knows what has happened in the interim of his young life. Uh, but thankfully, he's now with DGI Paws, so he is in a good foster home while he is waiting to be adopted. Uh, they say he does great with other dogs with doggy daycare. Has not been kid and cat tested. However, uh, Foster assumes that there's going to be absolutely no issues because of his demeanor and his like very soft personality. Um, he's probably going to blend pretty seamlessly into a house. And this is another purebred story. We we hear it all the time. Hey, there's no purebreds in a shelter. Um, Ta-da! Like now, yeah. <laughs> showing you guys a, a Doberman, and that's like a I feel like a pretty rare find. You don't see too many Dobermans around, do you? No, you don't. And and here's what I'm going to say, right? Like, and maybe this makes me a horrible person for saying it out loud, but this is an expensive dog, mm -hmm. right? Like, if, if you really want the purebred Doberman, you're going to pay through the nose for it. Yeah. And, and here's one that kind of slipped through the cracks that's available is a perfect dog demeanor wise, uh, is healthy, is active is only a year old. They're very trainable dogs. They're considered to be one of the most intelligent breeds. They're exceptionally loyal. Um, <laughs> it, you really can't go wrong. I do not expect Mazda to go without a home for long. I don't either. And that's what I am always very shocked because I, you know, it does sound terrible when we say that, but at one point in my life, I was like, yeah, one day I'm going to have a Doberman. Uh, and unfortunately, it's just not the right time for our household. But I remember having like Googled it in my teens and it was like a couple grand for this type of dog. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> like that's, that's not a thing. Yeah. Um, I will say, so he is not neutered yet. He is scheduled to be neutered. 
Uh, but he, that doesn't mean that you guys can't adopt him right now. It just means that if you choose to adopt him before he is neutered, there is a, a piece that will go into the contract that you're going to sign upon his adoption, agreeing that he will be neutered. And remembering that, you know, spaying and neutering all of our dogs is what's going to ultimately help to the crisis and the epidemic that we have of having way too many dogs um, that are homeless in shelters and rescues, et cetera making sure that we do our due diligence and spaying and neutering is literally one of like the most basic ways that we can all do our part and help the community. Um, so that would be part of the contract if you chose to adopt him right now. Uh, otherwise they do have an appointment and he will be neutered. Uh, so he's, again, this is, a, this is the perfect package that we're discussing here. And uh, I don't foresee him sticking around very long so if you are like me and having a doberman is like one of your dream dogs make sure that you reach out fill out that application have your opportunity to meet mazda feel out his personality and pick out a different name let us know what it's gonna be <laughs> and uh get him home yeah it's dgipause.org uh, I'll put everything up on the screen so it's handy for you. But if you're not a visual learner, it is dgipaws.org. Again, .org, not .com. .org is for not-for-profit organizations. Uh, and, and really consider taking Mazda in. If you have a friend or a family member or somebody you know uh, that has had Dobermans in the past, hit them up as well. That can be a great resource for you. Uh, and, and they'll back up what Jenny and I say, not only about the expense of the dog, but their intelligence and their loyalty. Quick Google search is all you got to do, but it, it's a little bit better when it comes from a friend or a family member that has that hands-on experience. For sure. And again, I'm just going to really harp on this piece. So, so, so loyal. Uh, these dogs are incredibly sweet, so smart, so trainable. He's so young. Like he has like this bright amazing future ahead of him uh you just got to make sure that he's part of yours absolutely contact information is on the screen get your application in while you still can and uh we'll be back next week with another featured adoptable pet uh jenny i can't thank you enough for bringing attention to this you have found some absolute gems upon your uh return to us and it's greatly appreciated absolutely well i will uh see you next week while we kick off october Right? Yeah. Next week's yeah. going to be October. And uh, I have a, a few things up my sleeve for October that I'm excited about. So we'll uh, we'll chat then. I love that. All right. We will see you next Wednesday for 95X Cares, our community animal rescue effort brought to you by Invisible Fence, the roofing guys, and the law office of William Matar.